Hello and welcome back to Darkwood. It is day 20 something, I think 23. Um, last time we killed the Mushroom Granny and got the boy back to his deranged mother. Which, you know, mixed feelings about that, but bug prevented me from doing otherwise. At least I believe it was a bug, you know. I don't really have any reason to believe otherwise so far. But now I have an oxygen tank, that's right, which means that we can actually either go over here, or actually go and do the talking tree things. And quite honestly, I don't know which one is which, or like, which one is which, which one's a better idea at the moment, just because, on the one hand, I f I'm worried that this will sort of end the end the playthrough on us, and I'm worried that that, like, we should wait until going there also. <sighs> but I think, ultimately, I don't know, I think like there's enough extra space for at least one more, especially this. I really want to go back there before we wrap up and see what else I can find. Um, I guess I could use a flare if I really want to fight. Maybe that would be finally a use case for flares. But, um, it's also not really a lake, which is weird. I think I'm gonna go ahead towards the village. I do have the tank with me, yes, good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. Just cause I, I don't think it'll end just at that. Like we've just barely gotten used to this thing and there's a few other items on the on the list, as it were. Ooh, that's a cool detail. I like that. That is attention to detail that I think is worthwhile. Or maybe it's just normal. Maybe it's not special at all. But I really like that the, uh... The water seems to hit the... The, the rain seems to hit the water as well, which is cool. I like that. Alright. We want to go around up here, right? Weird entrails, yeah. I'm really curious about what it is, because Swampers seem like they have human undersides. So I am curious about what it is that, uh... I think that was it. Okay. Just checking to make sure he has anything new to say. But yeah, I wonder I wonder how it is that um, a swamper comes to be. Because it looks human underneath, but I'm not sure, like, what is it that causes it to spit out the things that it spits out? And where does that come from? Because that sounds like it would be... Um... Not great. Do I got anything else for the tree? I doubt I do. Tree. The screaming. Okay, I think we've read that one before as well, so I'm not really going to worry about it too much. Yeah, there it is. I think. Now that I remember, I think that one's locked. And we have to go to the one that's up here. Move faster. Is that a corpse? We did search it. Okay. Right. If I remember correctly, this is also pretty much benign, like there's nothing going on here. I really wish I knew what that was. Alright. Moment of truth! Here we go! That I didn't expect, frankly. Did, did not expect that. What is this? Or am I... Yeah, this is a dream though, because I don't have any inventory anymore. Well, let's see how this goes. This might be... I might have accidentally just ended everything. Huge rusty barrel. Gasoline inside. Is 
that's nice. It's kind of huge. Gasoline repository? I feel like we're underwater. Which is probably the intent. Choppers are faster. Hmm. What could I have done? Where am I? It's time stopped. Looks like it.
Okay, so I guess I'm on the other side, just underneath. This goes nowhere, doesn't it? Damn it. Oh good, another one of those. I don't think there's anything beyond it. Well, maybe there is, but... Looks like we'll be probably be going around that way anyway. Torch, sure. That's fine. Rotten wooden crates overgrown with small roots. Potato. Empty wooden wooden crates overgrown with small roots. That's a lot of story. I guess it's all of them put together or something. Man, Black Chopper's hurt, too. Well, it's rusty, but I think it still works. There's no way to smell. There's gasoline inside. I'm not gonna touch that right now. This looks familiar. Right. can't actually attack it this time. Dead end. Is it though? It doesn't exactly look like a dead end. supposed to do with that, uh, well, I'm still thinking about the dream section and what, what it was that I could have done there. I don't know that I could actually go back to digging. Maybe I could. Seems like if I'd wanted to break down the barricade, I'd have to, um, you know, beat that black chomper. Just difficult to say the least. There's not a lot of maneuvering space in there either. And dodging is kind of hard because we have to basically like let it come to us and then look away from it and run and dodge. So I feel like I want to turn on that valve, but I'm not totally sure. I also feel like I want to make I want to make that eye trigger. But I don't know how to do that exactly either. I can't. It's like just outside. Oh, there we go. Run. Run, 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 run. No! What? Okay. So it just has a crate. Is that it? Is that all it's for? I don't know. I'm gonna go turn the valve now, because there's not really anything else to do. I haven't tried to open it with all my strength, while suddenly breaks. Gasoline starts leaking out of the barrel. Is this actually spreading? Loaded with gas, huh? Oh, I think I know what I'm doing. Ah. I don't know that I should be doing it. Can we actually see it from here? 
think so, right? Can't get too close to it though. Which is nice, I guess. So people dug this this thing. I'd really like to know why. get out if I do. Like I set fire to it and then what? I guess I have to go all the way back? Do I actually even have a way to set fire with me? I have the Molotov, but I don't want to waste it on that. So I think that's bought me a decent gimme. Because this looks like it might end the chapter. So let's... Do I still have... Is the oxygen tank get spent? No. He's not there. Check out the other place first. set fire to but can't actually because I don't have any relevant stuff left. Alright, so the guy is over here. Does he have anything else to say? Probably not. I've already kind of forgotten what his story was. That monstrosity apparently appeared. And Did it kill everyone? I want to go find out now. Just read through, skim through his stuff because I've kind of forgotten what the story is with the wheels to fix the chair. I'd love to. We should probably do that before we leave. Where took your things? Yeah, it used to be different. Changed. Oh, so this did, used to be a swamp. This thing grew up from the ground. Hmm. Related to the things people were digging, perhaps? What's with all the potatoes? I guess that was the food store. That makes sense. That was their, um... Their food store. Which is why it had all the potatoes, and that's why we had the little manifest and stuff. Okay, so I put that together. But... So let's see, there's, those were their food stores. Why were they digging like that? Did they dig and then the trees? No. All right, here we go. This is where we wanna go. Yeah, maybe, probably. This is probably a bad idea. Hello. It's Golgotha! Yeah, I figured. Old simple wooden cross covered in scribbles. One of them is always harder. I hope you never meet hunger on the other side.
Islands in the mud, huh? I don't like this. I'm gonna go check out the radio tower. This also feels... I was like, you better not be telling me that I ran out of oxygen. Okay, so the oxygen tank doesn't seem to get used, which is nice. I don't know, that thing has a lot of low frequency sounds all over the place, and that makes me want to just... Nope, nope, nope. Sounds important. The impression I get is that maybe that's one of our choices. Like, we can either leave through here, or we can set fire to the tree. I don't know what the tree represents, if I'm honest. It seems allegorical for maybe some kind of, uh... I, th I thought I grabbed this already. Okay. It seems allegorical for envy, or something like that, because they're all just accusing each other that they stole it, that it was all for common good, which is probably not unrelated to, like, some kind of communistic sentiment, which has been not entirely unovert. Uh, here. Oh yeah, this is also a thing we could check out. We never, uh, finished this up. There's still probably a chomper in here. Yeah. could have gone better, but it's also not bad. Huh. I didn't know that I couldn't hurt them until, uh... Until I, uh, got the black stuff off of them. Guess I've just done it before without thinking about it. Junk. Where's this supposed junk? Oh good, no, I don't... can't use that. Don't really care about the shovel either. There we go. So I guess a non trivial. Uh oh, there's supposed to be stuff here that just isn't. A non trivial strategy would be to, like, come here with gas so you can turn on the lights. Which is kind of neat, I think, just as a, you know, potential way to do things. I didn't know that that would probably have been a good way to come inside and not get killed. I'm out of batteries again already. This thing just burns through them. Oh good, a watch. That's right, another watch. There's just crap in here. Get out. Was it? Yeah, here we go. Still 
still burning. It's fine. I'm guessing this one's empty. Yeah, it doesn't have the flies around it. So this is apparently the radio tower? What is that? Crows and a body? Okay. What? That's the radio tower, I guess? What is this? I guess it's a thing right in front of the radio tower? It's just a ruin, right? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, really? Damn it. Just... Damn it. Don't want to take health item again for it. Oh, screw it. We have to leave soon anyway. I'm just going to start heading back then, because I don't I think we're far away enough that I kind of want to make sure I start heading out there a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, Alright, well, ooh. Is this a thing? Can I do anything with that? No. Metal parts. This was actually probably, this whole, this thing right here was probably one of the first times that I thought of using a, um, Oh, I heard you. Using a trap strategically. Because that would have been a good place to just, like, look, I'm just going to set this up, like, right here. And then I'm going to cause noise or somehow coax the other, coax the thing out. And then just, you know, coax it out and then, uh, use, let the trap get it and then use that to my advantage. Because two black chompers is quite, quite an ordeal. So we're still a ways from home. Come on, get out of the thing. Swamp. This place was not naturally a swamp. It was implied by the thing too. No, really? Come on. Came out of nowhere. I don't know how I feel about those guys. I don't really like fighting them, but I know that I'm not really supposed to like fighting any of these things, in some sense. But on the other hand, it's just, I don't know, they're just kind of annoying. Like, they're not particularly challenging, and they're not um, particularly interesting, it's just what, they just come up and toss limbs at you, and it's just annoying. <laughs> this way, maybe? really don't know. I feel like it's not this way. There we go. Yeah. I was almost right in it not being that way. Alright, let's see if we can't tuck away some some stuff. Ooh, let's make some antidote. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know if we can sell welder, but I'm inclined to think we probably can't. Drop that, we do want that, that can go away. Drop that. And we're gonna put that away. Okay, cool. We made it with good time too. This is about when I, you know, normally like to be here. And I do need this today, so good thing it's there. Uh oh, don't want that to become too detached. No? Alright, well, whatever. Something will probably just push it in. It's been the trend in the past anyway. I'm gonna sell those. And the extra watch. Oh, I do have an antidote. I didn't... Did I... Or does it make two? Anyway, we're going to want to make another one of those, and I guess we should take a pill. I'm going to sell the potato. Um, 
Well, yeah, it was down here because... Be somewhere else. Uh... It's over there. Yep. Hi! spare. I usually I want to when it's getting close. What I'm afraid of is that one of them is gonna walk into his vision cone while I'm here, and that will just be very sad for everyone. Do I want a torch for some reason? Like is that useful? Really? No. Go away. thing though. Oh man, there's some mushrooms out there. You're so evil, game. There's something walking into it. But I can't see what it is. I guess we were on day 24, not 23. Right, because we did a three-day episode last time. Well, that was exciting, kind of. Weirdly, except, like, I don't know why it happened. But, you know, it did. Which is neat. And some distorted sense of neat. Alright, yes, let's turn this off first out of continual paranoia. How is it already out again? I thought I did this just, like, last time or something. First, let's capitalize on our usual fee. Right, okay. I don't care about that or that or that. And I do accept the welder. Wonderful. Um, did I have anything else for them? The watch. Good. And I think that's 
that's it for now. I'm gonna go take stock of what it is that I have. Odd meat. Should be one more, yeah. AU3. You can have the meat. So I can't do anything else with it, so. Have at it. Enjoy the meat. Uh, we wanna make that. While we wait, lockpick. Ta da! And now we're back at mean lockpick amount. I can't sell the pincers, that's right. I don't still don't know what they're for. I'm sure they're for something. Like, there has to be a reason for them to exist, but I still don't know exactly what that is. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. I think it, I guess so, because I, I do like, I, it has already saved my life at least once, so I'm going to go ahead and repair that. Right, so we want to repair stuff, so I'm probably just going to take all of that. And uh, one grab bag of nails, and let's go repair things. This is fine. So I like this, that it like... This got blown open, but the door survives, so I don't lose. Because before it was a little bit weird, because you would lose both the, uh... You would lose the door and the barricade, so I was like, well, I'm kind of investing in something just to have it all taken away from me at once. So now it at least sort of stages it out. At least it seemed to. Maybe, maybe I just always misread that situation. But it always seemed to me like that was what was going on, and I wasn't super grand you know, super happy about it. Let's do that. Now we can put away the nails in the main thingamabob. We do want more battery. And that's the last battery we have. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. I think we've got... I didn't actually need to make that thing either, because there's a spare one over here, right? Yep. Damn it. I keep forgetting about it. Oh well. I guess it's good that we always have the spare one. In case I don't have supplies, it's there, waiting for us. I don't want the potato. I just gave them that potato. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, tuck away the stuff that I care about, which is pretty much just that. All of it. That worked out pretty nicely overall, I think. We have... I want to take the matches with me because I might be going to complete the uh, thing. I really wish I could sell some of these or find weapon parts. There don't really seem to be any weapon parts left. Um, this was cool and creepy and probably not the end of the game. Uh, this thing that looks like the crucifixion, literally a reenactment of the crucifixion. Uh, it kind of looks end gamey, as does this thing. Uh, I just don't know which one to do, or if it, maybe I should just go down here, or the huge lake. Uh, I just don't know. I like this having options thing, though. But, mm, I'm gonna go to the tree. I think right now, that's the one in my head at least that's the least likely to just wrap it up there. Because I'm putting together that we had we had the radio at the beginning, right? And then there's a radio tower, which makes me think that maybe the radio tower is actually the, the very last thing. Like, we'll go there and we'll set up a signal or something to uh, come and rescue us. But, you know. This thing does seem like an abomination. I don't know what it represents exactly, but I think it's probably a good thing that we get rid of it. Uh, the thing defending it was a black chomper in our fever dreams that we had while underwater. Which is still a little weird, but okay. There have been weirder things in Darkwood. Way weirder. So, I'll accept that. I'm just worried that I'm going to get chased by chompers or something. That's the thing that makes me the most hesitant, but I guess I don't really have a choice, so... In we go! 
Right, it's just a matter of like circle around and then go down. And then ta da! Enter the water. I'm not really sure how he's using that oxygen tank, if I'm honest. Like, as far as I can tell, he's just sucking on the oxygen bit of it, and that's it. I do like this bit, though, where it's like, by now you should have figured out how these things work, and shouldn't be afraid of them. This is probably more useful than antidote in this situation. Alright. Hmm. Hmm, what to replace? Probably the knife. Alright, I'm gonna run now. This will probably be all that I need to see of it. It's gonna burn for the whole day. What? Can I talk to it? this thing. You're kind of in my way. That was pretty closely timed, I think. Proud of that one. just does not door, but okay. I'll take it. The low frequency stuff completely burned down, huh?
other side of what I wonder. Hey, crow. Hmm. Photo. Hunger on the other side, huh? Is this, uh, oh, this is the thing itself burning down? I mean, that looks like there's a fire, but maybe not. But his getup makes me think military. So it's like people going off to war and the homes burning down. Cool. Oh, it came out from in here. That's cool. I was about to say that this sort of story beat where it's like, oh, the thing that was the thing became a monster, it came out, it was a little bit tried, but I'm impressed that it, like, it opened this doorway. Like, it's totally, it didn't come from nowhere. It was just here and it heard me. I think that's cool. Planes. Fire. I don't know. We'll put it all together someday, I'm sure. This was clearly a bedroom. Although this, this thing has clearly, you know, declined since its day. I'm guessing that I can open this now. Yep. Hooray! Why did these turn into the spider things? Are the spider things made out of multiple people? That's the thing I wonder about. Oh, come on, what? Alright, fine. No. Ah, monster. These aren't even that hard, they're just annoying! Why are there a bunch of you now? All the corpses. All right, come on. I'm ready for you. So there's nothing over here. All right, so that all looks like boundary. There is just at least one more spider thing. Whose tragic fate. I must now finally conclude. Are you stuck? <laughs> I think he's stuck. He's making more of himself though. Yeah, that one's stuck. That one's not though. Stop it! it is. So that's also boundary. Anything else over here? I'm inclined to think no. It seems like a pretty focused area. I feel like I'm supposed to take much deeper meaning from this, and I'm sure that it's there. I just have difficulty finding it, because I think I need some kind of like special knowledge about World War II or something? I mean, I get it. Like, there's something here that's about like the the fire and the burned down houses and stuff were caused by the war, I guess. Like there's at least pictures of the planes destroying it and everything. Alright. 
now then, how much time we got? Do we... I think there's like a good... Well, I guess we got stuff to go put back anyway. Search this crap yet? Yes. There's a good chance that the, uh, it's the radio tower that's the last place. At least I think so, anyway. I don't think I've been in here yet. I know that sound. You know what it means? Don't keep <laughs> equipped this. Oh no. Mm. Don't like this. that I make it open up, but I'm very glad that I did. We're running very close to out of time, so there we go. We were right next door though, so that's good. I can't believe I never went there though, because we li are literally right here. I guess I never really had any reason to go up for much of anything though. Why is there one scrap metal over here? Alright, well, some things. One, repair the axe. Thank God, repair the axe. Um, I'm gonna stash that. This, I guess, I can keep. I don't know. It makes me. The fact that I needed it recently makes me want to carry some of them around. Sell. Sell, but drop so it doesn't age. I can't make this anymore because these have aged ever so slightly, which is bullshit. Um, I'm out of. Out of. Um, armor again, and it's about time for us to get going. We have alcohol though, so that's nice. It feels like it's too bright out for seven. Is it the burning tree off in the distance? Is that, is that it? Is that the idea? Oh, I have another one. Don't want you. Sell, sell, keep. I lost a knife to that, didn't I? Yeah, because I threw it and I missed, which means it's gone. I think you pretty sure I've recovered them from the from the walls of places before, but I don't think I've ever really um It's easier said than done. <laughs> Especially in a place like that where it's like I don't know exactly which direction it probably went in, so... 
can we put away so we're good we're good as far as that goes which is nice we have like a full stock man it's almost worth I mean almost it might actually be worth using the shotgun a little bit now instead of the pistol can we combine you two no of course not I feel like I need to start carrying around another one So, so. What? Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry about your tree. say. Oh, hey, my knife. Where, give me my knife. Yeah, it passed through it. Okay. Woo. So that was 
yeah. I don't... That was kind of amazing! I, I guess we should have maybe done that earlier. Did you...? Okay, so you guys did not feel like helping me out here. Alright, that's fine. I appreciate it anyway. Appreciate the thought. You! You're still fine with everything, apparently? Okay. You can have the meat and that, these things. Take it all. I'm gonna take just one. And I might... I have a lot of stuff to rebuild. <laughs> Alright, let's go assess the damage. I might feel like an insurance adjuster. Meats, yes. Good, let's go get rid of them before we forget them. So at least there's no more radio inside my little house thing. That's good, probably. That thing always seemed a little bit suspicious, and I don't know what the relationship is between all these things and, and radios. But I'm sure there is one. Is the nice part. Ooh, I should sell that. Come on, trade. Yes. Go. Go away. Alright. That was pretty intense, I gotta say. Like, regardless of how it may seem from my voice, well, I mean, the actual gameplay wasn't that intense. It was like, sit in the corner and, um, and hit, hit the quick attack button occasionally to make them not hurt you. But just thematically, like, I am being attacked by the, um, you know, what previously were villagers, because I don't for a moment believe that that was actually still them anymore. Um, because, you know, and they were on fire. So, obviously, setting it on fire is not a valid solution for this problem. I feel like I'm going to run out of that as well, but I'm not totally sure. That's okay. You can buy at least two tanks from them, so... Come on. Fill her up. Yeah, we're gonna need more. Alright. Okay, buddies. I'm interested in your wares. Specifically those. Especially those. Alright. I forgot to make my lockpick. Not that I need to make lockpicks, but might as well, right? Now I finally consumed that bit. I don't have any batteries either. Do they sell batteries? I'm inclined to think they don't sell batteries. I think I've checked this before, and they do not sell batteries. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and... That might work. I'm not sure. I feel like what's been going on is the same mistake that I made um, the first few times I played the alpha, where I uh, uh, I got too obsessed with some side thing, what, what turned out to be in actuality be a side thing, instead of um, something that actually mattered, <laughs> basically. And that just results in me enjoying the experience less because I'm not focusing on the uh, story that I should be focusing on. Because, well, I don't know. Why did it take us this long to get the, uh, to the elephants? Um, I don't remember. Oh yeah, because we wanted to explore the junkyard and stuff. That's what kept us. Otherwise we would have done this a lot sooner. But, oh well. I was looking for this guy, it's still alive, right? Yeah, okay. This door is actually doing okay. I feel like I wanna, I wanna just, yes. I wanna rebuild these, cause I don't really like semi-torn down doors. That just sounds like that is not gonna go well. I don't know how any of them made it outside, I guess. Probably some of them just, you know, made it through the- oh. Mm. 
but it's still here? I can't dismantle the doorway, right? I can barricade it, but I can't dismantle it. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Anything else that I should re-barricade? I don't think any of them made it out here, right? So this should all still be, you know, wherever it was before, basically. It, is it worth barricading this? I tend to think no. There used to be a door there. Whatever. We'll leave it for now. So I guess we're actually doing okay in terms of, you know, um, I forget the word, but nothing's broken. <laughs> Everything is basically fine in that department. Sure, let's go ahead and use it that way. Uh, hold on. I also need to make sure that I give my usual... I can repair one thing supplies. Okay, I do have them. So all of this can go in here. Boop, boop. Okay. Anything else that I should be sticking in here? No, don't do that. Just that. Molotov as well. I don't know, I've been dragging around this Molotov all game and never using it. Just because it's so... I mean, we could have made another one right now, right? Because we have... we just needed a, a thing. They're really powerful. Um, I probably should have tried to use one in the... Uh, the problem is I don't get prepared. Like, if I had been more prepared for the the ruins, I would have come with, you know, the flashlight equipped and, and everything set up for probably chomper fighting, but I didn't, and that's not because it's not any fault of the game, it's just my own fault for just not, you know, thinking closely enough, I guess. Does that, that makes sense, I think, that statement. Anyway, uh, that looks about right to me. I think I have pretty much everything I need. I just wish I had more batteries. That's about it. It's the only thing that I'm sad about. We don't have that many spare inventory slots anymore. Which is why I'm considering maybe I should put away the Molotov, because I never really use it. I never plan ahead enough. I could have a ton of antidotes though, that's pretty that's pretty these things stack pretty high. Um Otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't know of anything I'd like to, you know, drop here, other than the Molotov, because that would just be like a thing that I would take on a situational basis, depending on what I decide to do. In that case, it should come, mm, that's wrong, <laughs> it should come over here, we just don't carry it, except for when we think we might need it. Which depends on our plans, and we don't have any plans right now, because, well, I need to go back to talk to the cripple, because I'm sure it... I hope he has something to say. Pretty much done with that, I think. It was just that, um, three crosses, which I don't know, is it three crosses? It seems like it's echoing pretty clearly the, the, like, the crucifixion. But at the same time, it seems like maybe, uh, it was intended for, you know, there were a family of three, and that was why they were saying, like, you know, never hunger on the other side, and their family was devastated by war. But yeah. So this and this are the only really remaining interesting places, and prob there's probably something down here. There's gotta be. That's just too much empty space. But otherwise, yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on Leave my inventory cleanish. Let me go put away the match. Matches, go away. Okay. But I think this is about what I want to have. I think I should always carry on the oxygen tank, just so I can always go into the water, because that thing that seems like a theme here. Uh I like carrying around the pistol. It might be more practical to carry around the shotgun, just because it's 
I've got enough shotgun ammo now, and it stacks pretty well. But on the other hand, I have a lot more pistol ammo, so <laughs> probably if I get through these two clips, I'll probably switch to the shotgun. Um, so yes, I'm happy with our loadout. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna decide that just you know straight up next time, because probably the village, frankly. No promises though, because all all the other things I know we can do except the huge lake are, as far as I know, done, and we can explore down here. So I feel like that's an end gamey area just because the the radio and everything. So I don't necessarily want to go there. Definitely want to wrap up the huge lake. Anyway, we'll do one of those things the next time. I don't know which one offhand. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.